Righto guys, I've just been explaining the throttle bodies, explaining the dampeners, and we're going to set up the TPS on this throttle body really quickly with a multimeter. It can be done in the car or out of the car. Now, once the throttle position sensor is in and set, if it adjusts sub significantly or a lot, uh, then there's a problem with it. Okay, and then I see a lot of guys fiddling with throttle position sensors and then setting it wrong. And if they set wrong, the transmission won't shift quite like it should. You'll have idle issues or could have idle issues. And they just generally don't drive as nicely. And they should be set correctly and pretty much in the factory position. So, and I see, saw a video, a really cool one, where the guy was trying to get more power out of his transmission. He was adjusted it all wrong, stuffed up his idle. And there's information like that on the internet, so watch out for those. I do have a throttle position sensor enhancer for that purpose, and it doesn't stuff up the idle. Anyway, into it. Let's set this throttle position sensor. This sensor, watch this. Not good. No, no, not good. Bad. Okay, it should spring back. Like this one. And this was actually a sub TPS. Oh no, that's a what's this one? So if you look at them, there's a difference in the keying. So the normal TPSs are low and low. This one's high, so key is low, key is low. That is a TPS. This is a sub TPS. Stuffed anyway, it's in the bin. This one's physically broken. It's in the bin. So I got my multimeter, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to check some resistances. It's upside down. The outside too. It's easier if I just use my little clip here. Okay, and if I move the throttle, the resistance does not change. So that is the power in the earth. Pin one is the earth, which is at this end. Pin four is the five volt. So I'm, I'm actually gonna go into pin three, which is the signal. When I open the throttle, the resistance will change. And if I go from the earth to the signal, the resistance will change, but it'll be the opposite way. I could have turned this multimeter in, eh? Yeah. Depends, I can't actually, the gravity's working. So what I'm going to do with my multimeter is I'm going to flick onto, I'll try the right way around, eh? You can't see it. No, we're going upside down. I'm going to go onto pin one, which is the earth, and pin two, which is the idle switch. And you see right there, it's it's closed circuit. It's got continuity. If I open it, it goes open circuit. Undo the screws. And I know this one is wrong because uh, I just put it on. So I want it to be just there where it goes open circuit, bring it back, it'll go closed circuit. Generally around about there. So when it's all zeros, it's closed circuit. And I've got my 10 thou feeler gauge and I'm gonna pop it under the throttle stop. And that's, it's not the one at the top, it's the one at the bottom, just down here.
So a 10 thou under the throttle stop, it's open circuit. And then with the 10 thou out, with the throttle closed, it's closed circuit. So that's bang on the right spot. And at the same time now, I can check some resistances. Around about 0.73 between the earth and the, the throttle position sensor itself. That looks good to me. I'm going to call that set. And I still see guys adjusting this. That should not be adjusted. Okay. And you'll actually notice it takes a long time off that before it opens the throttle. That is normal. Okay, about. And now it's the unopened throttle here. Because of this lever arrangement here. True throttle stop is this one. And again, it should not need to be adjusted. Okay, there's the throttle stop. I probably should show you just how to fit a TPS. So when you put your TPS on, one, you don't want to point it the wrong way, so that's the wrong way. But you can feel it here. See how it springs? When you lift it off, it springs. Bring it round and you can feel a bit of spring tension. And then put your screws in. Okay, guys. Um, just a note on this too. What I'm going to do for you, if you've got this far of the video, you might be wanting a bit more information. Uh, check out the description. In the description, I will put a link to my Google Drive with the factory Toyota TP setting instructions, which is pretty much what I've just done. And what you also see in there, it's for a Sora, but it crosses over to LS400s and all the other. Use it. Hope that's helpful. Talk to you again soon. Catch you later.